Angiosperms are found all over the world, and they are the largest, most successful group of plants in the plant kingdom. Angiosperms are vascular plants, meaning they contain a well-developed vascular system made up of two types of tissues called xylem and phloem. After the gymnosperms, angiosperms are the second group of the seed-bearing plants. While gymnosperms and angiosperms both reproduce by seeds, there are several differences. Gymnosperms are non-flowering plants, and angiosperms are flowering plants. The reproductive parts of gymnosperms are generally in the form of cones, and in angiosperms, they are flowers. In gymnosperms, the seeds are naked and not enclosed within a fruit. In angiosperms, the seeds are covered. The seeds of angiosperms develop in the ovaries of flowers and the seeds are surrounded by a protective fruit. Angiosperms are diverse in size, ranging from the smallest duckweed to the tallest eucalyptus trees. Angiosperms are diverse in growth forms, including herbs, shrubs, trees, and vines. Angiosperm life duration is also varied. Annuals are those plants that germinate and die within one year. Biennials complete their life cycle within two years. And perennials live for more than two years. Angiosperms are very successful adapting to new habitats and changing environments. There are eight clades of angiosperms, including monocots and eudicots. I will discuss the clades in the next video. This concludes the video. For additional videos on biological resources, please go to my back bio page.